Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Illustrator tutorial. Today we're creating a vector background design with the blend tool and the symbol sprayer tool to give this audio wave shape with particles being emitted. Uh, it's not too advanced, um, but if you want to look at my other tutorials on the blend tool to start with, then that might help. If you want to follow along, the artboard is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels high. This one's actually RGB. I normally do CMYK, but this one's RGB. The colors that you're going to want to add are here. Um, seven colors. If you want to press pause and just add these to your swatches, um, we can go ahead. If you want all these windows, copy my windows, again, just press pause here. And you can, anything with a tick, you can get it open and you can put it in that order that I've got. Also under view, have smart guides and snap to point. That's going to help you out a bit. All right, to start with, um, this basically consists of two blend shapes, um, a couple of circles and lots of twists, and then tons of particles afterwards. So we're going to get started. I'm going to zoom out and go into a fresh artboard. So I'm going to start with the background, and we're just going to draw a rectangle with the rectangle tool over the artboard. Um, this one has got a, a cyan sort of stroke on it, so I'm just going to take that off. And I'm going to go to gradient and click the gradient. The default's um, black to white, white to black. So in this case, what we're going to do is have it sort of blue to purple. So the blue and purple that we've added there, you're just going to drag that onto the gradient. And once we've got that, we can actually click the gradient tool and we can drag from corner to corner and get our background. So just click that and press Command 2, which locks it in place. So we're not going to accidentally click it. Now, from here, we're going to use the um, ellipse tool and just click and drag. Hold If you hold Shift and Option, it's going to keep it circular, which it's not essential, but we'll start with it circular for now. Um, it's filled it in with that gradient. So again, here with the, the fill color, we're just going to hit none and we're going to go to the stroke color. Now for this one, we're going to hit um, the cyan, cyan sort of color. It's the RGB values, the, the 255, the 250 on the green and blue, zero on the red. And we're going to make this stroke weight uh, one pixel and we're going to put a round cap on it going to click dashed lines and we're going to go for 2 and 2.5 pixels. So if I just zoom in, you can see it should look a bit like that. Okay. And zoom back out. And what we're going to do is press command C, which copies it and then command shift V, which pastes it in place. So you can see I've got two. I'm just going to grab this um, corner point and start to move it in. But if I hold option and shift, it's going to move it in. Uh, in a, a perfect circle. So about there's right. We want to change this color now to the, the pink or the magenta. That's your 237 red and your 255 blue. And you can see that's what we've ended up with. So select these two, press V and select these two and double click the blend tool. And what you want here is specified steps. And we're going to have 30 specified steps. If you click OK, um, because we've done it that way and click that, you want to now click small to the big and it should just fill it in. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, now the sort of tricky part is, and they're all going to be different, you're not going to get it exactly the same. You can see my scion, um, my scion line is like a sort of, I don't know, this sort of shape here. And then the, the pink line is a, a sort of relatively random shape. So. So from this point, what we want to do is select it with V and press Command C. We're just going to save that in the copy um, for later because we're going to do the sort of yellow to red one in a second. Now press A, A is direct select, and you want to start moving these anchor points around. You'll see straight away that looks that looks lovely. So you, you just start moving the points around, see what looks good. You're probably never going to get the same kind of exact shape that I've got but depending on what you need and how you want it to look you 
yeah, we'll just go for that one for now. Um, so now if I press Command Shift V, we're going to get those uh, circles back again. With Direct Select A, I want to select this stroke, which is the pink one, and I'm going to turn it yellow. And I want to select this stroke, which is the same one, and make it the dark red. And again, I mean, if I zoom out and try and use mine as a sort of rough guide, you can see the the line shape. If I sort of hover over there, you can see it's a sort of crazy kind of lines. We'll try and get something similar to that. So direct select again. And let's just start dragging things around, making them quite abstract. But we're getting there. I think that's kind of, for the, for the purposes of the demonstration, I think it's, that's about right. If you see, actually, sometimes you get these gaps in it, so you just need to move it back until it it works out a smooth sort of blend to it. You can see there's a little gap here. Sometimes you can just extend it. It might make it worse. It might make it better if I just... Anyway, we'll stick with that for now. So what we're going to do is select just with V, we're going to select these, the, the yellow and the red, and we're going to change the, the weight to 0 0.5 um, pixels. And we're actually going to change the gap, um, the dash, to uh, 5 on the dash and 4 on the gap. So it gives us a slightly bigger dash and stuff. Now we want to send this back a bit. So we're going to Command Shift um, left square bracket, which sends it right to the back. Um, if we just select our background here and, and click the unlock, we're going to command shift left square bracket that. So now we've just moved them around. We've moved the, the, the yellow and red one to the back and then we've moved the background to the back. So if you press uh, command two on that background, it locks it again. Okay, so now looking at this, we're going to add the particles and there's three colors of particles. There's the blue and the yellow and then there's actually uh, white. So you can see when it's a bit close up, you can see that. So in order to add these um, particles, we need to see the symbols. Um, so I'm going to go up to uh, Window and Symbols. And you can see I've already added mine in. Um, but I'm going to do it again just, just for you guys. So if I go to the Ellipse tool, and you want to make a fairly small circle here. So really quite small. And we're going to do it a gradient, <clears throat> but we need to change it to a radial gradient. So when we're on here, the first one we want is the, the blue one. So I'm going to use the, the light cyan and the sort of just slightly darker cyan. But that darker cyan that I've, I've got there, I'm going to change its opacity to zero. Now when I zoom in, you can see it's uh, left to right at the minute. So I want to change the type from a linear to a radial. And you can see it's now... Um, I've got a transparent edge and I want to pull this center location slider point up a bit about about 80 percent so it looks pretty good there now I just want to grab the shape and pull it into the um, symbol box uh, it wants to be a, a graphic dynamic symbol uh, and those settings click OK so now I've got that one selected this is a bit that takes a while um, what you want to do is go ahead and press the symbol sprayer tool shortcuts shift and s now click and hold it and right now what we've got is this, this fairly big sprayer so if i double click you can see that the diameter is 200 intensity 8 and 10. now if i click ok we'll give this a little go and that's what you get a series of dots they're quite small but that's pretty good so if i just undo that you kind of want to follow the contours of your uh, shape that you moved around. Now, you can see that I haven't got the intensity too high, so it's not giving me tons of concentration of dots. So you do just want to start going over these lines, and this will take a, take a little while. So what I'm going to do is speed this up. 
um, but you'll be able to see how much I've covered. So at this point, what we've got is, is quite a lot of small dots. Now, if we hold the, um, the symbol sprayer tool, uh, click and hold it, there's an option underneath it called symbol sizer tool. It's the fourth one down. Now, if I double click here, you'll see the settings are 200 pixels, intensity eight, symbol density 10. Um, now, if I just do a demonstration here, I just click and sort of scooch over these points here. It just makes them bigger. Okay. Now, you want to sort of just do it gently. I'm, I'm just clicking and sort of moving. You can let go and you can see sort of progress you've made. Make some of these bigger down here. Make some bigger over here. If you make a mistake and you go a bit too far, you can hold option. And what option does is send it the other way. So rather than making them bigger, it makes them smaller, which is quite good for some of these. You can, you just want them to be tiny sort of dots in the background some really small particles that have just almost disappear in there when they're coming off here they're trailing off into sort of nothingness nice and small they make some of these ones bigger across here and this is the bit that will will again take some time so if you click off there that, that that's starting to look really good i'm going to do the same now with the the yellow to red um and the white um, so let's let's go ahead and add these two again just draw a tiny little circle zoom in and up this one's a cyan now so I'm just going to drag the yellow and the red and that red is again 0% so with V just pick it up and drop it into the symbols graphic click OK and with that one selected I'm going to go back here and start doing the yellow um, with the sprayer symbol. So click and hold that symbol sprayer and I'm going to speed this up again. Okay, so the same process here, we're going to click and hold and we're going to do the symbol sizer tool. I'm just going to go over some of these, make them a bit bigger in places. And then I'm going to hold option and I'm going to make some really small. Okay, that looks really good. So we're just going to finish off with the, the white and this one's going to be tiny. So we'll just drag white into both and then chuck that onto the symbols. Graphic. Okay. And for this one, I'm just going to highlight probably on the blue. I'm not going to do the whole thing. So go back to the symbol sprayer and I'm going to put these on there. Okay, and we're going to just make these um, kind of small. They're pretty good at the minute we're not going to do much on this one a few bigger ones hold command make a few of these smaller ones and that looks good um you're almost there i mean you can you can finish and and use that sort of as a as a final product you'll see mine um at the beginning had a bit of a sort of tilt shift so what you can do is you can export this as a JPEG. Um, just go to JPEG, use artboard, export. You want it RGB, resolution can be, quality can be 10, resolution can be 150, click OK. So with this open in Photoshop, um, you, what you want to do, you want to go to um, filter, blur gallery, and tilt shift. And that opens up this nice window. It's really sort of intuitive to use, so you can you can hover around, you can move this center point, you can just hover here and, and change the angle. I sort of, if you change it to be in line with this, you can then just move these lines up and you'll see which bits then fall into focus. Move these in for 
um, harsher or more gentle focal point. So if I move these out to about here, that looks okay. Press OK. And there is the finished product. I hope that was uh, useful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.